just give me. Thank you and welcome to the show this morning. The topic this morning is the African Street Festival and the Freedom Rides uh, revisited. And of course, we have with us to talk about the African free, uh, the Street Festival, uh, Kwame Leo Lillard, and to uh, talk about the Freedom Rides, uh, Mr. Alan Kaysen, a participant in the uh, Freedom Rides. And of course, uh, Kwame, uh, let us uh, welcome you as well as uh, you, Mr. Alan Kaysen, uh, to the show this morning and to talk about a topic that uh, has been revived in a real sense, uh, Kwame, primarily because of your efforts and the efforts of others uh, dealing with what has happened at Tennessee State University over the uh, last uh, several weeks. Uh, let's uh, uh, start off, uh, Kwame, by having you and uh, later Mr. Kaysen to uh, give us some information relative to your background, your education, and some of the things that were important in terms of getting you involved in uh, the activities that you're involved in now, and then we'll talk about uh, some other aspects of uh, your involvement. Well, in 1961, you know, that was two years after the initial training um, uh, of the students in the Central Committee here in Nashville. Uh, around the First Baptist Capitol Hill, around Clark Memorial. Uh, there was a cadre of people who were trained in late 59 mm -hmm. in, the, in the ways of Gandhi and resistance. Mm -hmm. And when 60 came, they were prepared to stop the protest. Of mm -hmm. course, Greensboro, North Carolina, mm -hmm. hit on February 1st. Those students in Greensboro created the sit-in movement in Greensboro. Mm -hmm. But 13 days later, their much better organized Nashville movement mm -hmm. undertook uh, a successful city movement mm. that resulted in the first lunch counters in the South okay. being mm. open to all races. Mm -hmm. So we were much better trained. We had a better support system in terms of adults, the legal system here in Nashville mm -hmm. than in the Greensboro. Mm -hmm. well, Greensboro was given the credit mm -hmm. February 1st, 1960, mm -hmm. for being the first okay. student protest. Mm -hmm. The difference is that Nashville movement was so well organized that Dr. King came to Nashville mm -hmm. to learn how we were doing this. Okay. So mm -hmm. when the core group was burnt out mm -hmm. in Anderson, Alabama in 61, mm -hmm. that next year, they gave up the Freedom Ride. Mm -hmm. The Nashville movement was so well organized, we just simply said, no, you're not giving it up. Mm -hmm. We're gonna pick it up, pick it up. And we continued and were successful mm -hmm. in making the Kennedy administration mm -hmm. force the Interstate Commerce Commission to enforce the right for everybody mm -hmm. to ride airplanes, mm -hmm. buses, trains, or boats mm -hmm. without any fear of being harmed because mm -hmm. of the race. Good. So mm -hmm. the Nashville movement was just simply too well organized do anything but do what it did, mm -hmm. which is continue the, the, the Freedom Ride mm -hmm. and move that into mm -hmm. voter registration mm -hmm. in the enti entire South. Very good. And of course, Mr. Kaysen, as a, uh, a participant in the uh, Freedom Ride yourself, why don't you tell us how, what motivated you to become involved? Because I'm, I'm sure that you understood the uh, social and the uh, political situation at the time. What motivated you to become uh, involved in this activity? Motivated what was this, that we were not progressing what the jobs mm -hmm. our background only thing we were looking for being a teacher mm -hmm. if they're not teaching jobs mm -hmm. uh, and, and uh, what we're looking at another thing is zero mm -hmm. how many teachers do you have in a, a school mm -hmm. but we had to look at things why do I have to go to the back of the bus mm -hmm. why do I have to go to the Added, mm -hmm. you have urinate. Mm -hmm. Why we do these kind of things? Mm -hmm. No, I said I'm tired of it. Mm -hmm. My parents 